Welcome to the Overgrowth Art Asset Overview. This week I worked on the comic. I usually start off a comic page by roughing out a few pages at a time so that I can see if the pacing and story is coming together. Once I'm happy with those pages, I will go in and clean them up and finalize all of the art. The comic's been on hiatus for a long time, but you can check out the new update at wolffire.com slash comic. I think it's a little bit too much work for me to work on game assets and also uh, work on a comic that's so complicated. In the future I think I would not do coloring because it takes a lot longer. Another thing that I'd like to show off this week is a set of monoliths that I designed around platforming gameplay. I wanted to make something that looked cool and worked a little bit better with the existing prototype movement gameplay. One of the things that I like to do when I design a level is to not have any specific path in mind. So I just created a lot of different ways for you to travel through this level 2 of this highest point over here on the other side. I think once a designer starts trying to force the player to play the game in a certain way, it uh, causes a lot of other design decisions that are really not that fun. I kind of liked how all of these things looked tinted red, but you can tint them any color you want with the asset tinting tool built into the engine. Thanks for watching this week's Overgrowth Art Asset Overview. And don't forget you can pre-order the game at wolffire.com slash pre-order. Thanks.